Good morning. Thank you so much for coming out to our entrepreneurial photo shoot. Tell us your name and a little bit about your business. Well, first off, thanks for having me. My name is Marlon Christie. My business is Grand Ground Enterprise and DBA Advisory Technical Consultants. We've been in business for seven years. And I started the business because, you know what, I got tired of making everybody else millionaires. So I said, hey, if I'm going to be up at night, it's going to be because doing my own thing. So what does your business entail? Is it IT based? No, you know what? We have quite a few core niches. So, um, you know, we call ourselves a 911 contractor. So if you're a decision maker, you know, you got things that keep you up at night. You know, you're a, a SES in the government division chief, section chief, branch, you know, you just got to sign the project and you need people to help. Hey, we're your 911 contractor. So we do acquisition services, program management, IT support services, research and development, systems development and training. Okay. And as a business owner, you know, we all have had a hill to climb to be able to get to a certain point. What were some of the things that you had to jump over to be able to get to the level of success that you've risen to? Well, I would say, um, you know what, to be careful with the people you trust them in that you think they're going to have the same mind to equally yoke and there's going to be loyalty there because I've been burnt by a lot of people, a lot of businesses were already established. And so one big thing for me that before I even deal with anybody, it's about loyalty. We're going to be reciprocal. So that's one of the big hurdles I had to overcome. Another one was, um, being strategic and making sure our infrastructure was sound, because I saw a lot of businesses just jump out there. They don't have their infrastructure, so they're not here today. So, you know, we have our 8A certification. We have our HUBZone certification. We're a service-disabled veteran-owned company. Um, we have our GSA schedule. So we have all the nuggets that enable us to get out there for the government to reach us. So we made sure we, you know, overcome those obstacles and hurdles. So, you know what? when we strategically plan to move forward and get out, because we do short-term, mid-term, and long-term planning. So we're always looking at, hey, the best way is just not putting our eggs in one basket, but being, you know, handled at stage levels and continue to climb and grow. So what has been the biggest payoff outside of money? What's been the most rewarding part of building this business? Well, the most rewarding part is, you know, putting people to work, you know what I mean? Because, um, you have folks who, you know, they have the drive, the desire, and the ambition to get out there and do something. So a lot of times I feel that, number one, those are the people we want to tap into. Number two, a lot of folks feel like, you know, they work for a company and the company just treats them as, you know, just another cog, another button to see it, and now there's a valued asset. So, you know, we're huge that, hey, you know, our employees talk good about us. Um, we do a lot of team building. We put money back into the employees, not only with raises, but, you know, every, every two weeks or every quarter, you know, we get together, we do team dinners, we just go do outings and, hey, just how you doing, anything I need to handle, anything I need to deal with, you know, the contract you're supporting, and, you know, we're concerned about their family life as well. And what area are you located in? Uh, we're in Washington, D.C. We're right here. We're in the heart of the city. We're in Northeast. We're, we're right over by where the new Costco is. So, you know, we're able to get to any government agency within a wink of a night. So is, it, is your business strictly for the Washington, D.C. area? What about other areas that are in need? Oh, yeah, no, not just D.C. So, you know, we're international. Um, you know, I, so from serving in the military, in the Marine Corps, you know, it gave me a, a aspiration and also let me focus on international landscape. So, you know, I've been in Iraq. I've supported the mission out there out of uniform. Um, you know, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation um, Operation Enduring Freedom, and I forgot the other ones. It's two of them together. But I've supported the war, so we, we travel overseas. We do local, and we do all states. 